Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here just to the east of Angkor Thom. And we're kind of on what they call the mini loop or the mini tour. They, uh, there's a little road that goes around to some of the other temples like Pre Rup and a few of the others, East Maybone. And this is the first one you come to. And I've been by it a million times, I've just never stopped. This is Prasat Kravan. And it's just right over here. It's a 10th century temple that's made out of brick instead of the sandstone that you see at most of these temples here. This was under the reign of King Haravrashavaravaman the first, and uh, I guess he had a troubled reign, and this is one of the temples that built was built during his reign. So this isn't a huge temple, but it does have like uh, Vishnu and some other uh, stone carvings. So let's take a look at it and let's see what it looks like today. Right here is the road that goes around here. And there's several little, little temples that you'll see along the way. And you can jump in a tuk-tuk and go around. It's pretty easy. But it's a pretty fun, like a, probably a full day thing if you want to look at all of them. So this is the moat right here. So it's all drained and it's just dry. And as you can see, it's all brown because it's drier than a bone right now. And then the outer wall is completely missing. It would have probably had like a Gopura over here on this little causeway, but there's nothing remaining of it. And now there's just uh, some people selling cold drinks and knickknacks and stuff like that out here. This is the temple itself. So there's five towers arranged in a row that are on a brick platform. And you can see the styling of it where it's kind of narrow at the bottom and then it kind of bulges there in the middle and then it goes up to the little different tiers. And the tops of the other four are missing. That one there is a little better. The center one's the only one that's really preserved. And it would have had all the stuff around it, but it's all missing now. This is a popular place for the locals to come over in the evening. They'll come over here and they'll sit and uh, relax whenever it gets cool. It's not too far outside of Siem Reap, and they'll come over here and spend the evening. And I don't know when this was restored, but you can see by the condition of the bricks that it clearly has been. So on the west side here, these are all the faux entrances. And you can see the styling, how they offset those bricks to give it all the pattern work. It's really quite nice. I really like this style. So the style, I believe, is the Bikong style, which there's the, the group over there, the Rulos group, that has the Bikong temple inside of it. So over here, there would have been some other platforms, other buildings, and they're just down to the base now. And then we have the Khmer lions here, and then we'll look in each one of these. So the center tower is dedicated to Vishnu, and then there's the goddess Shari that's in the northern tower. What's interesting about this is this was consecrated in 921 and there was another building just like this at Gokere that was being built, Prasat, Prasat Tom, that was consecrated the same year. And it was uh, kind of interesting because the Gokere was a rival of Harevishinara I and his uncle said he was going to be king and he declared the capital over there at Koke. And that was the capital for a short time. And his uncle became Suravaman IV. So uh, there was a lot of political instability at the time. So the Khmer lions are kind of in danger. They're weathering out here. There's some paint. They've got inscriptions on the walls and stuff. And this was restored by a German group. This is inside of the South Tower. So you can see it has the pedestal right there. And then you can see how it kind of curves in as it goes up. And this would have been whitewashed. It would have been pretty nice. Now there's just the pedestal for the deity. And it looks like they carved in 71185 for some reason. Maybe that's when they set those new bricks in. 
Yeah, there's not a whole lot to see inside of these. But you can't see the styling of the columns. And then the lintel right there. And the stairs are pretty narrow, hard to climb up in there. And then you can see how they did the styling across the bottom of this, of these towers. Yeah, this is really nice. Let's look in the second one here. So we're working away from the south to the north. And there used to be inscriptions in the sides of these doors. This one here, the lintel is just a little tiny bit is left. And then it has a, like a marker stone inside of here. And then it has the pedestal and the tops are completely gone. Now the middle tower has a little rope across it because it has a Vishnu inside. And then you can still see the, the brick styles here. Yeah, this is really nice. This is really, really weathered across the bottom. So these are all original bricks right here. And then you can see the figure that they carved into the brick on the south of the door and on the north. So you can see the little figures carved right across the base right there. And then how fantastic is that? So that's been redone up there. The lintel's been redone. All those little figures. You got these columns here, but a lot of this, like this right here, this is all original. Now this is what's really, really cool about this temple. So you have the Khmer inscriptions right here on the sides of the door. But what's amazing is what's inside here. So check that out. That is, that is Vishnu right there on the back wall. And we got more of the figures here on the side. And there's like a Garuda. Oh, that is fantastic. You can see all the little figures across the bottom around the, the Vishnu. And this is all original here from 921. This is the surviving tower. So the other ones would have had stuff like this in them also, but they're all gone now. And just all the, the work in those bricks. Yeah, this is definitely a hidden little gem right here. Seeing cool stuff like this. And then the pedestal. And that would have had a figure on it. And then you can see all the Khmer writing. Some of it's flaked off so you can't make it out. But how cool is that? And then the octagonal columns. Okay, so this is the center tower. It's the best one of the lot. Let's look at the next tower, tower number four. You can see the lintel up there. And it's open also. So these that are open, the weather is causes paint. What they say is the, the rainwater causes salt to come out of the paint. And then it causes it to uh, get that white look and it deteriorates the, the stones. And then there's the pedestal. So there's not a whole, much, whole lot to see here. It's opened at the top. And you can see the conservation where they used the original and then put some new bricks in here. These are all original. Oh, and it's just really a crying shame that these others haven't survived. So you got the faux doors on the three entrances away from the east. And this is the way that you would have came in. You would have came in right over that way through the jungle now. And you would have came through this building right here. That would have been a Gopura. And then there would have been like a library and some other stuff over here. And this is the last building. So we have the columns here. We've got a really nice lintel. It's missing on the top. And then all those little figures. Looks like a lot of this is new, but it still does have the goddess right here. Oh, this is really nice too. And then you got some more figures over here. Oh, this is fantastic. And then uh, the pedestal. And then you see just the bottoms of those. So they would have carved that into the bricks. And then you got some more of the Khmer inscription here. Now this was not, this temple wasn't built by the king himself. It was one of his high officials. Oh, this is really nice. You see they got the little stanchion right there to keep people out. 
Yeah, well, this is new brick over here, and then the base is the original. Now, it's a shame there's no wall or anything. Most of this has been just lost to time. Just has the dry moat around it and then jungle. This would have been a really, really a nice place to come back in the day. You can see what's left of this little building here. I really like the way that they put this piece right here, kind of at the bottom of the steps. It's just really a nice little touch. And this was made out of brick with just a little tiny bit of the sandstone. And then that would have been the moat. It would have had a little causeway coming across from the east. And all this would have been gone. There would have been houses and stuff like that all through here. Pretty nice stairwells and everything. Just a shame that it's just down to the base. You can see everything is open to the east. That's gonna finish up a pretty quick video over here at this Prasat Kravan. This is a temple I've been by a lot. I just never have came over here and taken a look at it. And I'm really pleasantly surprised at those uh, carvings in the wall of Vishnu and in that goddess and everything like that. That exceeded my expectation. The rest of it, there's not a whole lot to see, just five towers across the way. If you like this kind of styling, then it's pretty cool to see but most of it has been restored, you know, the lintels and all of that. But uh, the rest of the buildings are just down to the base, the wall is gone and all of that. Anyway, it's worth a quick look if you're over here. It's worth 10 minutes of your time. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you've been here, let me know in a comment down below what you think. If uh, you have any questions or comments, ask me and I'll do my best to answer it also. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, stick around, and you're notified when I post a new video. And from over here in Angkor Wat area, Angkor Thom, Siam Reap in Cambodia. Remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.